Mr. Floyd's murder was just not cruel and reprehensible, but criminal. The officers involved should be brought to justice and held accountable for their actions or as well as their inaction. I wish that same justice for my brother, Patrick, who served with distinction and honor as a federal officer for the Department of Homeland Security until he was murdered anonymously by blind violence on the steps of the federal courthouse in Oakland, California. As he took his last breath on the cold, hard cement after being shot multiple times, he died. Fear, hatred, ignorance, and blind violence snatched the life of my brother Patrick from all of us. I am here to seek justice through the chaos for my brother Patrick, for George Floyd, for citizens of all colors, for communities across America, and for the police officers that protect those communities and their citizens every day. The actions of a few are dividing us as a nation. At a time when we should be coming together and uniting for the well-being of all people, we will never solve generational systemic injustice with looting, burning, destruction of property, and killing in the name of justice. We must find lawful, peaceful solutions that uplift and benefit everyone. And this, this is greater than a black, white, or blue issue. It is a humanity issue. When those in a position of authority choose to abuse their power, that is the very definition of oppression. And when innocent people are harmed in the name of justice, no one prevails, we all lose. Police brutality of any kind must not be condoned. However, it is blatantly wrong to create an excuse of dis out of discrimination and disparity to loot and burn our communities, to kill our officers of the law. It is a ridiculous solution to proclaim that defunding police departments is a solution to police brutality and discrimination because it's not a solution. It gets us nowhere as a nation and removes the safety net of protection that every citizen deserves from their community's elected officials.